are you worried about your toaster catching fire like I did? If yes, then watch this video till the end. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Lovely and you are watching Love and Kids World. So in today's video guys, I'll be showing you how I clean my toaster. So I'll be sharing with you guys all the tips, all the tricks that I use to clean my toaster. Yes, so if you are one of the person who's always worried about your toaster getting like catching fire, just keep watching this video till the end. So I'll start by showing you all the things I will need to clean the toaster. So I have my vinegar here, I have a bowl with some water, and I have this sponge that I'll be using as well. And I also have this uh, dish soap that I'll be using to clean the toaster. And I also have this bounty paper towel. I prefer the bounty because it's really hard and just like a hand towel. So I'll be using this as well. So let's get started. What I do first is to I always make sure I empty all the crumbs. So this is my toaster. This is how it looks like at the start. And um, what I do first, I all I start by empty all the crumbs. So this is how it right here. So guys, don't bother. I, my face will not show, but I, what I do next is to separate this sponge into two so it will be easier for me to, to, to use it. So now it's flexible for me to, 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 be able to use in there. So what I do is I soak this sponge in the water and uh, add some dish soap here. Then I start by cleaning the outer part first. part of it I know this part is always very difficult but what I do is you know when you are when you put your bread in here I need to press it down it closes so for you to have some room to clean this uh, toaster you have to pull it up just to clamp it open so your hand can go right inside <laughs> I use vinegar to clean this butter part again because I noticed vinegar is very good to, to take off these roasted parts and silver stuff and I also use vinegar sometimes to clean maybe uh, like uh, you know my water boiler and this vinegar can take off all the rust at the bottom of the water boiler so I'll be using this vinegar to, to perfect the cleaning so let this inner part of the ground the next thing is to clean the bottom part of this toaster guys look at how the top part looks like right now as compared to before so i'll be using this this is what I'm using. I've, I tried using this before. It works perfectly for me. So it's just like a, a, a knife file. So you can use either a spoon or something that is really tiny and long that can get right at the bottom of the toaster. And I'll use this uh, paper towel to wrap around it. I'll put some vinegar on 
it. So I finish my clam it so I can have space to go right down at the bottom. So one good thing about this uh, using something that is really tiny is that uh, you can actually go right at the bottom and you can scrape some of the breadcrumbs that are already burnt underneath and if you're able to scrape, scrape them out you, you can still go ahead and shake it out again and they'll put them out. See the toaster is clean at the bottom. Start by using the dish soap again to clean the outer part. And I use the vinegar again to clean it again. And it to be sparkling. That's brand new. Then I'll also go ahead to clean this other part. lining here guys because we have some crumbs in here so what I will be using is uh, this knife the sharp head can use anything so I use my vinegar soak this paper towel and then I just try to make sure it fits in here and I'll just spin it around just make sure great quantity is in so you can in all the corners just watch and see what will come out how this paper towel looks like look like and I spin again around just to dry it out guys look at our toaster it's all clean and now i have some peas to toast my bread without being scared of something happening you know i do this like like every three weeks to 
just to make sure I have my piece <laughs> yeah so this is how it looks like now very clean yes and that is it for this video guys if you watch up to this level I really appreciate you and make sure you give this video a thumbs up and uh, share if you can so others can watch so thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys in my next video bye bye